Tonight we were joined by former Tally star James Argent. He opened up to us about his battle with drug addiction and an eating disorder. This led him to be his heaviest weight of 27 stone and believing that at his lowest he might not survive. But three years later, he's mm. lost an incredible 13 stone. He's been sober for a year and a half and is feeling better than ever. Yeah. Look at those little hats <laughs> of chops. He joins us now. Morning, yes. James. Hi, yeah, it's morning, good. morning. It's well really done. nice to be back in a... In a in a positive in a positive way. In a much better place. Yeah, much yeah. better place. Well, you're looking good on it. Um, you feel better than ever, which is brilliant. Um, this what you, you're calling it this sort of disordered eating that yeah. happened, and it started a long time ago for you, really, didn't it? Something would trigger it, and then this relationship with food uh, was a bit of a coping mechanism. Yeah, really. definitely. I always like um, acted out on food, whether it be just kind of for comfort uh, or like. When I was dealing with certain feelings, I would go towards food. Sure. Um, and I had a really bad relationship, probably going from when I was a child, actually. I was forever up and down. I was either kind of exercising, like, uh, three times a day and starving myself and being really slim, or I was just doing no exercise at all mm. and I was binge eating and I never kind of found a happy medium or a balance. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, I mean, that obviously smacks of an addictive personality, doesn't exactly. it? So, when you... Where did your addiction first manifest itself? When did, it, when did you start? Was it, was it food or when you got uh, older? Was I it think drink? It was, I, think it was, I, I think it was both. I mean, the first time I ever went to rehab, actually, I went there for drink and drugs, but within a day they put me in an eating disorder unit, so oh, right. I kind of... Because addiction is addiction. Exactly. Right? It wasn't specific to anything. It's kind of a, just a battle yeah. all round, really. So um, I finally, you know, I've got myself in a position now like where I'm, uh, you know, just under two years clean and sober, right, right. Um, oh, and right. now I have a very, you know, healthy, uh, healthy relationship with food and, and exercise, and I kind of, I kind of really feel, like, happy and content. You know, there's been, you know, no scandals for a, for a good while. <laughs> there's been no drama. <laughs> Everything's just kind of going smoothly, which is great for me, my friends and my family. Do you know what well, I mean? Well, part of, part of the thing that helped you with your weight loss was the gastric sleeve. So you yeah. had that in 2021. I mean, that is... I think people look at that and go, oh, it's just a quick fix. Cool. It certainly isn't yeah, that. No, I mean, sure. there is a lot behind that. Then you have to work out sort of the brain-tummy connection as exactly. well. The gastric sleeve will do one thing. Um, you'd reached 27 stone. Mm. The thing that surprised me this morning is that said, you said that even now when you're looking at your body, there are still things you see. Yeah. There's still bits Absolutely. you see. Yeah, like, like, even like I've lost... You know, 13 stone, and when I go back and look at pictures, it's like, oh, like I don't recognise myself. Or I, I'm like, no, surely that wasn't me. Yeah. But even like now, like you never, I don't know. Me personally, I still have those kind of. Um, I'm still can be quite body and image conscious. Like even like in certain pictures, I want to be sort of more toned, or there's sort of areas that I still don't like. And you're kind of never really trying. I'm never really completely yeah. happy, or maybe you like. People just look for perfection. Well, stuff, welcome maybe. to the club. <laughs> I was going to say, I think that's a pretty yeah. normal, normal feeling. Every, yeah. Everybody wants to be yeah. body positive. How's the exercise oh. going? Yeah, exercise is going good. I've got into my swimming, uh, into boxing, um, and yeah, I've started playing quite a bit of tennis and paddle tennis. So, yeah, you I'm, need to I'm sign up. Living I a healthy lifestyle. What, I try and do half, two half marathons a year. I cannot turn up to a half marathon without seeing Wright. Mark Wright, every, <laughs> every run I ever do, he, he loves thought, it. And I'm yeah. always there going, it's the end of my training. And he's like, oh, damn, now I'm just uh, training for like a 50 mile next week. And you're like, what? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it must be good, that, isn't it, to have a friend that do does a little half marathon. It's, it's, it's with good Wright. to have positive influences around me. Well, I actually did do a marathon, I think, back in 2012, but I'm sure I'd, do, I'd get a lot better time if I yeah. was to do it now. Amazing, mate. Well, you look at your life now, and as you said, it's all very positive, and there's, yeah. there's a few reasons for that. One is that. The, your love life's very fulfilled at the <laughs> moment. <laughs> um, you've got yeah. a, a new girlfriend. Yes, I've got a, a new girlfriend. You are punching. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like a young um, uh, Sophia Loren She's or a Monica Bellucci. She's beautiful. <laughs> so she, no, she lives is. in Italy. She does. She lives. She lives in uh, northern Italy. Um, yeah, she's very, very special. She's a, she's a, she's a great woman. Oh. Oh, she's a great woman. <laughs> God knows how I've done it. She's gorgeous. I think she thought I was an English Michael Bublé when I met her. That's what I tried to tell her anyway. Well, yeah. She's watching this. Uh, you know, you are basically our, our very own Michael Bublé. Um, 
I mean, you've, got, you've had a great singing career. I have. <laughs> but you are singing now. This yes, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, is your kind of inspiration. I, I'm a full-time wedding singer, so I'm finally doing what I've always wanted to do. I actually wanted to perform with the band today, but apparently Anne-Marie's nicked my spot. She did, she yeah. did. Yeah. Next time. So, so, that so, multi-award winning yeah. Anne-Marie just got in the pool. Sorry. So hopefully, you know, maybe at some point throughout the summer I'll come on next time. with on the sing. band and we'll, we'll perform. We'd love that, we'd love that. Over here, you case Michael Bublé. You've sung here before. I have sung here before. I, I sung here um, uh, quite. A, it was a few years yeah. ago. It was actually Valentine's Day. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So what kind of stuff do you like to sing? Do you, uh, you I sing a bit, a bit of Motown, a bit of rock are. and roll, sing the classics. I mean, look at me there. I know. That's what I mean. Looking at videos like that, I just don't, I don't recognise myself. Yeah. yeah. Um, there's some exciting news coming up for 2023. You said that sort of reality shows. You sometimes you think they're not so good for you. Yeah. I mean, I mean some. You know, there's. there's I mean, I'm, well, if I'm being honest, I've signed up for a couple that are coming out after the oh, summer. But I'll, I'm, the, I'm a bit more. I'm in a position now where I'm. <laughs> <laughs> not good for you. Not great for you. <laughs> no, but I'm in a position now where I can be a bit more picky and choosy. Like if there's reality shows that involve drama or things like, that, then I'm not interested. No, Maybe it's stuff sure. that's positive and fun and like you know. So what are you doing? Experiential. Oh, I don't, I don't know if I'm allowed. To... Oh, I thought you were allowed to say. No, I'm I'm not not it sure. a bit of exclusive for you. Dot dot dot. I won't say it. Okay. Don't worry. But don't say it if you don't well, want to. Uh, uh, Watch know. this space. Yeah. 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 Yeah, there's some cool ones coming up. OK, fine. But I'm actually, I've actually just, um, believe it or not, I've done pantomime quite a few times yeah. over the years. And usually I play like silly roles like Sergeant Argent or Dandini or, like, or something, you know, the silly whatever. But I've actually, I can't believe I'm saying this, I've actually been cast as Peter Pan. Brilliant. <laughs> yeah. you Can you believe on. it? You'll have For to you. the a year, Two years ago, I couldn't tie my own shoelaces you know and now I'm going to be flying. Right, yeah. You've got to be fit to be doing panto every day. So it's a good yeah. testament to you, my friend. Good time. It's so lovely to see you. No, yeah, it's good. Doing so well. We'll Thanks. see you when you come in to sing. Always yeah. a Thank pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. Right.